I would just like to say I, I really appreciate the Chinese for their creativity in designing these exciting palette designs. It's just exciting. Every time I check up online stores, there's always something new. Hi there again everyone, this is again Alan and welcome back to my channel. Today here in the Philippines, we are now on our 29th week of the quarantine and I'm praying that you guys are all safe, sound, and healthy at the comfort of your homes. Today of course, we are going to be having again another watercolor review and for this day, we are having a set from China's number one creator of reasonably priced watercolor sets. This set is no other than the Superior Foldable Palette from China. I ordered my set at Shopee Philippines, particularly at the simiart.ph account on May 30, 2020 and it arrived after 3 days. That time, it was 559 Philippine Pesos but today, it has increased already to 592 Philippine Pesos or roughly 12 US Dollars. Aside from the 38 color set that I got, they also have 18 and 58 color sets. If you are interested to getting your set, I'll be putting some links at the description box that you can access directly. Aside from the pink box, they also have a blue one but I chose the pink one because I think it's more unique. No, just kidding. I chose the pink one because the palette inside is white and the palette of the blue one is black and I prefer a white palette. And here in front, there are two characters. This is, I think, Chinese and according to Google Translate, this character means choose or select and this one means yan or gorgeous or beautiful. So if any one of you really understands these characters, kindly confirm if my conversions are correct. This box is a paper box and it feels sturdy and the cover is I think a specialty paper, a textured paper and it's kind of glossy and elegant. But after some time, I got this crack here and I think this was because of my mishandling so sorry about that now let's take a look at our palette inside so this is our palette it's white oops it's white and uh, i prefer it over the black palette let's read what's written here it says here foldable color pan and it says here you can choose the color whatever you want all colored in one set so they have the same text in each palette slide and also as you can see it's not very stable so for you to uh, make them stable you just need to push these hinges this way to make them secure like that and also they have here a ring in case you want to paint outdoors you can uh, bring this and what's good about it is that the ring is adjustable it can be rotated so whatever way you want it you want it this way this way it's very flexible So this is not the original arrangement of the colors. I already uh, arranged it according to my preference because at first they had all the pastel colors together. There were some greens here, green there. So um, I wanted more based on the spectrum. So I had it this way. So this set does not provide in the packaging, the color names and the light fastness rating or pigment code much more. I saw the color names only in the Shopee post. On the last palette, you'll find here the brand name which is Superior and it says here 38 which stands for the number of colors and also they have here a sponge for your brush cleaning. It's glued on this palette and here is a free palette for mixing. As you've seen earlier, some of the pans are falling off our palette but it's not a big deal because you can just put an adhesive here or a tape or you can also glue them if you do not plan on changing their positions since this is also superior watercolors it is expected to perform as good as its pan set counterpart but which set is a wiser choice the foldable palette or the half pan set one way to determine is through the volume of the paints they offer so in order to determine that, we'll need to measure samples from the pan set and from 
the foldable palette set. So we need to take out one color here and extract the paint out from the pan. But don't worry because we can easily return our paints there. It's glued. And as you can see, it's really thin. And also we have here a pan from the half pan set. This is going to be a little bit mathematical, but don't you worry, this is gonna be simple and I'm gonna explain it to you very well and very quickly. By the way, our consideration is for the foldable set, we have 38 colors for 592, making each color only 15.6 Philippine pesos. While in the pan set, we have the 36 color set, and this is 756, making each half pan color to be only 21 Philippine pesos, and that is the price as of today. Okay, so let's do our measurements for the foldable sample. And by the way, our measurement is by millimeter. So here we have um, 29 millimeters by 15 by 1 millimeter. And this is actually just the same with the fan set that we reviewed months ago. So yeah, we have 29, 15, and 1. I've already written it earlier. And for our pan set, so we have here 14 by 12 by 6. So we're going to compute the volume. So the volume is 435 cubic millimeters for every color, which is 15.6 Philippine pesos. While in pan set, the volume is 1008 cubic millimeters for each color which is 21 Philippine pesos now in order to get a parallel comparison we need to get the volume of each sample per 1 Philippine peso to do that we need to divide for 35 by 15.6 Philippine pesos and 1008 by 21 Philippine pesos so our result is we have 27.88 cubic millimeters per 1 peso while in our pan set, we have 48 cubic millimeters per 1 Philippine peso. So now in this computation, it's very clear that you are gonna get more paints if you get the pan set because you get 48 cubic millimeters of paints for every 1 peso. While in the foldable set, you only get 27.88 cubic millimeters of paints per 1 peso. And that's almost half of what you get from the pan set but of course if you like this design and if you want more colors then I think still this is not a bad choice of course as always for our sample painting and swatches we are using Arches 185 gold press cotton paper and for our brushes we have here my silver black velvet brushes I have the one fourth for the flat brush and also my voyage brush size 4 we are not gonna be activating our pants to be fair with the other solid watercolors that we have reviewed before. And since we have 38 colors, that's a lot. We are gonna be speeding up our swatching, but if there is something noteworthy on a particular color, of course, I need to explain it. So I think we are ready to start. So as you can see, they have here two cadmium yellows. They have a cadmium yellow and a cadmium medium yellow. We are not sure if these are genuine cadmium colors or just hues because we don't have their pigment codes. So far, the first 12 colors are just so vibrant and just easy to activate. This Mars Purple is so far my favorite. 
This reminds me of a color from Daniel Smith. It starts with letter N. I forgot the, the name exactly. So. Lavender is a convenience color with white that I don't mind having in my palette because this is very useful to me. They have here a cerulean blue and it's amazing because this cerulean blue looks like a genuine PB35 cerulean blue. Now we have France Ultramarine and obviously this is the genuine Ultramarine because of its obvious color and I think it's granulating. I think from the screen, the marine blue and thalo blue almost like the same, but in actual, the marine blue is obviously like a uh, thalo blue green shade, while the thalo blue is more like a PB15 um, is to 6 or the thalo blue red shade. In this color, their Viridian, they're saying that it's a hue, so they're admitting that they're using substitute pigments here. They're using PG7 instead of PG18, I think. So does that mean that in their Cerulean and Cadmium colors, they're not using substitute color, they're using the real pigments? Because they did not say here it's hue. I must say that this sap green is a very beautiful and natural version. This engine red doesn't actually look engine red. It looks like burnt sienna using PR101. And also this Van Dyke Brown just looks like burnt umber. And lastly we have Ivory Black. So now while we are waiting for our swatches to dry, let's do our sample painting. And for this sample painting, I have chosen to use my six favorite colors in this set. And they are the Beast Yellow, the Permanent Rose, the Mars Purple, Lavender, Cerulean, and the France Ultramarine. So we have a spoiler on my favorite colors here. If you have any questions, please just drop them at the comment box. So let's go. Notice that when you put lots of water in lavender, the white paint separates.
So now our sample painting is dry. We can now remove our tape. For the color selection, okay, let's take a look at the color groups. Um, they have one white, five yellows, three oranges, five reds, three purples, eight blues, eight greens, four earth colors, and the black. I'm actually okay with that selection, but if I need to change something, I think I'd be happier to have two or three more earth colors and for that I think I'm willing to sacrifice this blue and this green and Naples yellow so I'd be happier to have them replaced with a raw sienna a burnt sienna and a real Indian red I mean not this Indian red because it's you know it's not Indian red it's like burnt sienna only or a paints gray maybe or a real Van Dyke brown a dark um, a sepia yeah, those are more important to me than these three mixes. And anyway, let's go to the vibrancy of the colors or the yeah the intensity of colors. There's no question to that because this is superior in our previous experiences. They've been consistent and as you can see now, it's all good. Now when it comes to the pigment, I think um, they're good. And also, now I can say that they're really pigment-based, not just dye-based because of the colors that granulate because you know dye base um, paints don't granulate and those colors that granulate here strongly are of course the french ultramarine you see that's beautiful also the cerulean and the lavender they also granulate other than that i think no other colors granulate now when it comes to flow or dispersion um Superior has never failed me in that aspect, but today I had a weird, weird experience because I think it was my first time to use a color with white and that was lavender. I just felt that it was so heavy, it was pushing the other colors away. The beast yellow and the permanent rose in this color, they're being pushed by the lavender. I don't know if you observed that earlier in my uh, sample painting demo. But yeah, that's my only problem here. I was able to get a really deep gray here or a deep brown here with the use of Mars Purple, BC Yellow, and French Ultramarine. And for that, I'm really happy because I prefer mixing my own deep colors, deep grays than using black directly. Now when it comes to the transparency, I think you can see here obviously which colors are transparent and which are not. So of course the colors that are semi-transparent or semi-opaque or opaque absolutely are the colors that have white. So we have here of course white, Naples yellow, John brilliant. These two cadmium colors whether it be a mix or a real cadmium they're on the opaque side. Also the BC yellow is semi-opaque as well as the of course the lavender and the cerulean and also the arctic blue and celadon or caladon don't know how to read that sorry and also yellow ochre is always on the opaque side and also this indian red is also semi-opaque so all the other colors the rest are transparent and all good now for the chalky test i have here tissue paper napkin sheets and we are gonna rub it against our swatches and if we get colors then they're chalky so did we get I don't think we get any colors Let's do it again so did we no I don't think so so I think the superior foldable palette watercolors are not chalky just like the other superior sets so that's a good thing now we have come to our favorite part which is the comparison portion and for this let's begin with a set of paints that are less performing as compared to the superior foldable palette watercolors and for that let's have our bottom eight so let's begin with the best buy watercolors the symbolion watercolors the dong a creative 
Sterling Arts, Giorgioni Watercolor Cakes, Faber Castell Solid Watercolors, Sakura Koi Pocket Filled Sketch Box, and the Reeves Watercolors in Tubes. Also joining this set are the following. We have Faber Castell Tubes, Maris Watercolors in Half Pans, Maris Watercolors in Tubes, Pebeo Studio Watercolors, Pentel Watercolors Fine, Maggie Wap Basics Watercolors, Art Ranger Watercolors, Brown 2019, Brown 2007. We also have the Kuretake Gansai Tambi, the Semi Art Solid Watercolors, and the Semi Art Arts Arch Watercolors. Our next set of paints are the sets that are very much comparable to superior affordable watercolors. So let's begin with the Semi Art Semi Dry Watercolors. I think the difference is that um, the superior are more vibrant, they're more lively, but the Semi Art Semi Dry Watercolors have better texture, I think. And the colors are deeper in general, especially the ultramarine. So I think it's hard to choose, but yeah, it depends only on your budget and the type of uh, watercolors that you're getting. You also have the Mia Himi Solid Watercolors. When it comes to vibrancy, I think they're almost the same, but the Mia Himi Solid Watercolors are just very deep. And uh, I think your deciding factor here is your budget. Next are the superior half pan set and the superior fan palette so I think we do not need to compare this because they're from the same brand but um, I have issues I think in the smaller set of superior because they don't have <laughs> French ultramarine and last in this group is the pretty excellent watercolors I think it's the best in this side because the colors of pretty excellent are just so clear and the texture is also more uniform and they're more transparent. Our remaining set of paints are our best student grade paints. They provide light fastness rating and pigment code information. So I think that alone is an edge. And of course, our artist grade paints. So that's no comparison already because I think in almost every aspect, they're better. So let's begin with the Sonnet Watercolors, the Windsor & Newton Cotman, the Van Gogh 20 new colors and the Van Gogh 12 plus 3 half pan set. The Kukuyo Kamlin, yes, I know um, they don't provide the pigment code information, but I know it's made out of pigment and the quality is just undeniable and also the price. So I'm putting it above the so superior watercolors and also I'm respecting the fact that they're classifying themselves as artist grade paints from India. Next, we have the Lucas Aquarel 1862, the Prima Marketing Tropicals. The Mary's Masters Watercolors, the Paul Rubens Watercolors, the Mungio Professional Watercolors, the Isaro Extra Fine Watercolors, which we just reviewed last week, the Windsor Newton Professional, the Egalio Honey Watercolors, the White Knights Watercolors in Tubes, White Knights in Full Pants, the Rembrandt Luxury Pocket Box Set, the Holbein Artists Watercolors, 30, 30 colors, the Holbein Botanical Art Set. The Mission Gold Class 36 colors, the Mijello Pure Pigment Set, the Daniel Smith Sticks, Alvaro Castaneda Daniel Smith, and of course the Daniel Smith Ultimate Mixing Set. So now, if you are gonna ask me, would I recommend the Superior Foldable Palette Watercolors? My answer is yes, but I have some reminders for you. If you are gonna be using this for scanned paintings, or if you are gonna be painting on sketchbooks or sketch pads, or if you are painting for some craft works or some paintings that you don't care fading over time, then go ahead and enjoy these paints. But if you are painting, say for a client, or for paintings to be displayed, or for paintings that you don't want to fade over time, please just use paints that are meant for that purpose. Choose professional or artist grade paints and choose your pigments well. I think there is a specific set for each person and specific use, so just be more patient in knowing the right sets for you. Now when it comes to the palette design, I'm okay with this. This is not bad at all, but if I need to change one thing, I wish they had made these palettes detachable so that in case I just want to bring a set and select my own colors, it would be possible and it would be you know more convenient especially if we are gonna be painting outdoors 
and yeah that's my main concerns because what's the use of the the pants should I call these pants pants being removable if it's just only for the sequence of colors I actually prefer this palette than the, the fan palette because all the colors here are easier fairly easier to to access as compared to this one where the inner colors are hard to access and what else I appreciate that they put a ring here a rotating ring at the back so it can be easier to uh, to hold if you are painting outdoors so that's a plus I don't mind having no water brush included in the set because I don't use it much but I think it's an issue to others. I would just like to say I, I really appreciate the Chinese for their creativity in designing these exciting palette designs. It's just exciting every time I check up online stores there's always something new so yeah it excites me how they innovate their products, how they make competitive products, how they make these exciting materials and designs readily available at a very convenient you know price and uh, but I also wish they improve when it comes to providing the technical information because um, I think that will really help help a lot the credibility of their product so I think that's all for the superior watercolors if you have any questions recommendations suggestions just comment it below and I'll be responding as soon as I can if you're not subscribed yet please do subscribe to show support to this channel again thank you for watching and see you again next week